This is the Lunamod Looper Basic Stamp 2 version. Um, I wanted to see if I could build it and wondered why nobody else had posted anything on the internet about it. Um, so it's an interesting project to do even though I found out probably why nobody else bothered to do it um, because this the way it is right now and probably it could probably be improved upon quite a bit um, but it only has eight spots in its uh, playback loop and its default loop um, there's only so much space on the basic stamp 2 for uh, programming and uh, and RAM um, and your variables the you have a um, there's three words taken up for your ins, your outs, and your DIRs, um, and then you have uh, I think it's uh, 13 words after that of uh, variable space to work with. So I ended up only um, being able to use uh, eight spaces, eight words uh, in the variable space. So. Hopefully I'll approve upon this later. Um, so this is done on the professional development board made by Parallax. Here's the basic Stamp 2 microcontroller. Uh, we're going to use these two pots for um, temp, uh, tempo and frequency of the notes. This is the audio amp volume and uh, we have a normally open push button that's going to be used for record. Um, so the only components that are external to this board are these two capacitors. They're both 0.1 microfarad capacitors. And they're used um, with the two pots uh, separately. Um, to uh, And they use the RC time instruction in the program to get an analog read from the position of the pot and that's changed it's scaled with the equations into uh, tempo and frequency um, separately of course so I'll turn it on it goes into default mode And I'm going to turn this down because when you turn that on and in record mode and it's all the way, all the way counterclockwise, it makes a piercing sound. So here's your volume control for the audio amp. And by the way, you can look on the Parallax website and you can get schematics for most of their products. Uh, but you definitely can for the professional development board uh, which you might find useful if you want to build the audio amp the way it is here this uses an LM386 and I'm using an external speaker this speaker works um, but it doesn't have a good volume it doesn't sound all that great either so I'm using the ex external speaker I'll turn the volume back up you can adjust the tempo for the default loop and you'll see the LED flashes on beats 1 and 4. So I'm going to put it in record mode. And you'll notice that in record mode, the you have two LEDs in addition to the tempo LED. You have two LEDs that indicate you're in record mode. And one of them stays on for the first seven beats. And the way I programmed it, it uh, turns off. So I decided to add a, a second LED for the eighth beat. And then it's in the program to... Um, to uh, turn off when it goes into playback mode. So turn up the volume again. It's still in record mode. 
And when I change it, you'll hear it. Now I can change I can change the tempo here too as well. You can even change the tempo during playback. Note that uh, when you change the tempo during record or playback, it it's only effective. Um, the change in tempo is only effective immediately there. Once you stop changing the tempo, it stays at that point. So if you record your your sequence of notes and then decide to change the tempo, say four beats in. Um, when you hit re you hit the record button again to bring it out of record mode, it's just going to play at the last tempo that it was left at. Um, so, So that's the basic stamp 2 um, version of the Luna Mod Looper. Uh, check out the Instructable and you'll see uh, in more depth. You'll see uh, not completely in depth, but uh, you'll get an idea of how I built it and progr programmed it. And the code will be made available as well. So, and that's well commented. <laughs>